the religion of Islam's call to prayer. Its sound is beautiful, captivating, and can be heard on every corner of the globe. People from every walk of life have heeded to this call, but nowhere has it been heard louder than in the African-American communities of America. Their story is an incredible 80-year tale of perseverance, strength, and sacrifice while traveling the path to Islam. In 1934, a mysterious man named W.D. Farrard began teaching a young African-American named Elijah Poole his views about the religion. Poole would change his name to Elijah Muhammad and they would form an organization called the Nation of Islam. We hate ourselves. Because of the teaching and the training of our slave masters, yes, sir. who That's put right. one of us against the other. Some of the nation's most influential people would emerge from that movement, such as Malcolm X. You haven't done the right thing by my people. And because you haven't done the right thing by my people, now I got to do the right thing by you. Muhammad Ali. Whatever the punishment, whatever the persecution is for standing up for my religious beliefs, even if it means facing machine gun for that day, I will face it before denouncing Elijah Muhammad and the religion of Islam. I'm ready to die. And many others. But it is two men who have made the biggest impact. These two men have achieved incredible feats against all odds, becoming leaders of legendary status. Their names are Imam W. Dean Muhammad and Minister Louis Farrakhan. You can't go before the world strutting blackness. You have to go before the world displaying wisdom and righteousness. I know that America needs leadership. And I'm going to make my contribution. The history of Imam Muhammad and Minister Farrakhan is a fascinating story of two great African-American religious leaders. Both of them came into prominence in the Nation of Islam under the leadership of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. I have been teaching that one day you will wake up to know. Imam Muhammad was his son. He was called defiant, often disagreeing with the religion his father was proclaiming. At times, he was discommunicated from the group, unable to even speak with Nation of Islam members. Minister Farrakhan was different. He was Elijah Muhammad's greatest student. He was charismatic and articulate with a level of intelligence profound as any. Then the people begin to say, yes, yes, yes. He studied Elijah's every word and loved him like a father. In 1975, when the Honorable Elijah Muhammad passed away, it was Muhammad who was elected to leadership of the Nation of Islam. He immediately began making changes to bring all Nation of Islam members in accordance with mainstream Islamic beliefs. He changed the name of the group to the World Community of Al-Islam in the West and began teaching the tenets of Al-Islam. Although an estimated 1.5 million followers made this conversion, everyone wasn't ready to let go of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad's profound teachings. In 1978, Minister Louis Farrakhan split from Imam Muhammad to rebuild the Nation of Islam. See, we don't speak of Elijah Muhammad as dead. We don't say the late Elijah Muhammad. How could the man be late when his wisdom is so on time? 
his success would be overwhelming. In the name of Allah, the For years, these two great Muslim leaders would be divided. Uh, Muslims believe in the oneness of, of God, the oneness of society. Each in stark contrast to the other. That kills our grandmothers, kills our babies, shoots us down. Still, they shared a common thread. We are raised up to show the world what righteousness looked like. Yes, sir. A bond that could never be separated, no matter the differences, no matter the time. In February 2002, these two great leaders came together in Los Angeles, California. Fittingly, it would be at Juma Prayer during Savior's Day weekend. Thousands would be in attendance as Imam W. D. Muhammad would lead a historic Juma prayer. The two leaders would join in Salat. A sight seldom, if ever seen, by the American public. Following the service, each of these leaders would address those in attendance, showing a powerful display of respect and solidarity. So Islam today is off the straight path, and some are trying to get back to the straight path and making a mess of it. And they're making a grotesque image of what Islam really is. The following day, Minister Louis Farrakhan and Imam W. Dean Muhammad would meet again, this time at a local television studio, where for the first time in history, they would be interviewed together and answer questions which had been discussed for decades. I mean, there have been, for the last several years, attempts to, to reconcile uh, these two groups or brothers of ours and uh, what has taken it so long? Muslim News Magazine is now proud to present from our historic archives this celebrated interview with these two legendary leaders and the electrifying Juma prayer service which preceded it. The Los Angeles Convention Center was the scene as thousands of Muslims gathered for this very special Juma prayer. The sound of Quranic recitation was in the air as community members from around the country arrived for this highly anticipated service. Imam Muhammad and Minister Farrakhan would arrive together with a large entourage of security and press. Imam Muhammad would then take his place to lead the Juma prayer service, while Minister Farrakhan would join with members of the community. The striking sound of the Adhan would follow, and what a beautiful sound it was.
the stage was set and Imam W. Dean Muhammad was ready. What followed was absolutely amazing. We praise God, the one and only creator of the heavens and the earth. He has no associates in the rule of the heaven, over the heavens and the earth. He is God alone. And we witness that Muhammad, to whom the Quran was revealed, is his servant and his messenger. The prayers and the peace be upon him. The day in the life of the Muslims, it begins with Adhan. However, we know that this was not established until better than 10 years after Muhammad the Prophet, peace be upon him, had been introducing the religion of God for mankind to the people of Arabia who were worshipers for the most part of idols, false gods. When he went to the city of Medina upon the invitation of the people of Medina whose hearts were heavy knowing that this wonderful leader for mankind was persecuted in his own city and denied the freedom of religion that Allah had missioned him to promote and establish. So they said to him, why you continue to stay with these people? Why don't you come to Medina and you will have a place there to do your work to establish what you are ex trying to establish? So he finally accepted, as you know. And then began the establishment of the Ummah, the Muslim community, the first Muslim community in the history of the world, established in Medina, and it was a complete community life. All the needs of man and woman and family in community was taken care of there in Medina education, preaching of the religion, of course, which is number one, but our education, and by the way, preaching of religion, if we follow Muhammad, the great leader of mankind, is also education, it's also education. And also business, business concerns were addressed there. And an order, a model, for the whole of mankind was established there so we would know how God wants us established in society and how God wants that society to form and serve him through service to all people. <clears throat> the Adhan, it is said of the Adhan in reports on uh, Muhammad's life, peace be upon him, and his early followers. It is said that persons came to him, two I recall at least, and told, one told him, said, I had seen something in a dream, like, 
And he shared it with the prophet, and the prophet was interested in it. And another person also reported that he had similar dream. And the prophet established that we should have Adhan. That did not come as Quran and some other communications that Muhammad received from God that are not Quran, written in the Quran, but it came to one of his followers, to two of his followers, and his followers brought it to his, atta his attention. And then he said that yes, this must be from God, and he established that we should have Adhan. Now, Adhan comes from the word Udhan, means ear, Udhan, Udhani, my ear, Udhani Yameen, my right ear, Udhani Yasara, my left ear, Udhan, ear, and Adhan means attention with the ear, with your hearing. Whatever we have in our religion, from Muhammad, the servant and messenger of God, has a connection with something that came to the people of the book. We read in the scriptures given to the people of the book, blessed is he that has an ear and we read also uh, in the book, heed ye the word of the Lord and live. Heed means pay attention. And if I want to say to you all, pay attention, I would say, then or for many of you, istadhenu. Pay attention with your ears. Heed ye the word of the Lord and live. And then here comes the Adhan that says, Hey, 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 ala salam, hey, hey. And I read in Proverbs, lonesome fella searching, trying to get out of darkness before I came to see the full light that was, I was blessed with the, when I studied the Quran in connection with what I had been given before. So <clears throat> I read in Proverbs where it says, I can give it in Arabic now, because the Honorable Elijah Muhammad provided us with a good Arabic teacher when I was a young man in high school. So I can give it in Arabic now. In Proverbs it says, a living dog is better than a dead lion. El kelbu hay. Yes. So the call to prayer is really a call to life. And if you understand how Muhammad the prophet came in the chain of prophets and prophecy to fulfill it and complete it and guide us into the universal world of life of true life that Allah, our Creator, wants for us. If you understand that, then you understand also Muhammad's saying that God sent builders, messengers, prophets, builders, to build a house. And each one put his contribution, made his contribution to that house. But one stone was missing. And it made the worshipers sad all down through the history of, 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 the, of, the, of, of the religious people. It made them sad that no one was able yet or had mission, been mission yet to put that last stone in the building to complete the building. And Muhammad said, he is the one that God chose to put that, long, that last stone in the building of the house. And God says that it is the most ancient of the houses built to the worship of God for all people. Bonia Lennas. This is in the Quran. <clears throat> the Adhan, paying attention, 
I remember as a young man in the fruit of Islam, and the first thing they would say to us, fruit, attention. And I remember too receiving the student enrollment. The student enrollment. Everybody that became a member of the Nation of Islam had to get a student enrollment and learn it and be able to pass the examination. That tells us that the designer of that nation of Islam, called Lost Found Nation of Islam in the wilderness of North America. He intended that all members, male and female, be students, be students. The creation of man in Islam Islam is the original pattern for human nature, the pattern upon which the human race or the humanity was formed or originated. This is Quran, this is from Quran. And we are to understand that God created our life for all of us, when he created the first man, our first father, Adam. Peace be upon Adam. The Adam calls to life. The word for call is taken from the, the word meaning life, hay. We know that Scriptures given to the people of the book says the word of God is life. The word of God is life. And deviation or, de or, or departing from it is death. Sin is death. Elijah Muhammad, he saw himself as a messenger of his savior. The same one he called his savior, he said made him also his messenger. So he saw his savior also as his messenger, upon me also as his sender, who sent him as a messenger to us. The poor lost African Americans that we were told were once connected with Islam and had a life as Muslims in a Muslim environment or society. And he wanted to restore the lost found back to their own people and back to their own life, Elijah Muhammad. But Elijah Muhammad was also like the Elijah in the Bible. He was given language that would heal the wounds of the ex-slaves. He was given a language that would even heal the psyche of the ex-slaves and give them back again, or prepare them at least, to be in a condition to receive again their original mind. The one who came for us as a savior, I repeat, he said, twenty-four scientists met in the root of civilization concerning the lost foundation. They must return to their own. So they sent a messenger to them to teach them. And he said, now the teacher has worked for three and a half years and his accomplishment is five times five. 
approximately 25,000. And Muhammad said, use five before five undo you. Genesis said that the man was created on the sixth day. So there was five days of a world existing before the man was even created. And there was a woman washing at a pool or a well, and Jesus saw her, and he said, woman, you I see you have five husbands over you. And the one you have is not yours. And Muhammad said, prayers and peace be on him, that Adam, the first man, was created on a pattern of 60 arm spans. And he said, no one lives or is resurrected from death except on the pattern of Adam. And he also said, prayers and peace be on our prophet Muhammad, the last prophet of the prophets. He said, no one of the descendants of Adam have enjoyed a meal more than the meal that he earned himself. So that tells me that it is in my own created matter and life to want the dignity of not have, having to beg others for bread. Discover today's American Muslim on the Muslim News Magazine television network. This revolutionary new channel offers award-winning films like Eight Centuries of Muslims in America and documentaries like A Legacy of Education, The History of Clara Muhammad Schools. Experience the culture and history of Muslims in America like never before. Muslim News Magazine is available on demand 24 hours a day. Catch exclusive content and original series like Raising Islam in America, available only on Eminem TV. See amazing shows free on demand 24 hours a day. Eminem is the number one Islamic channel for today's Muslim American. Subscribe to the Muslim News Magazine television network now.